G'day, Lucky here. Um, so we're still diving in. You were almost halfway there through most of uh, the features of the Istio platform, but today I wanted to take you through uh, fault injection. So this is actually something that I've been really interested in for the last few years. Um, kind of got my feet wet with the Simeon Army out of the Netflix team, and that was a lot of fun years ago. But imagine you have a platform where you can um, declaratively inject faults in, and that's exactly what fault injection does in Istio. So let's say you have an end-to-end -end set of microservices that are delivering a product or set of features, and you systematically want to break things. Now, um, this is usually just for testing, but sometimes these things, you may want to inject them and see how the system performs. Now, um, I believe today in Istio you can do um, delays, so you can actually delay interactions between sets of services, or you can do a kind of simulate packet drops at a percentage, so you could say, I want to lose 20% of the RPCs between these services and see how things react. Um, it's a good way to actually test for cascading failure events in a kind of a microservice topology. So without um, further ado here, we're just going to dive into this demo. Um, now this is going to be on our uh, coveted book info app again. So this demo, you can follow along this page. The documentation is pretty spot on here. Um, congrats to the Istio team. It's great just to follow along. But what we're going to do, if I pop over here and um, actually, why don't I just open this up, I'll take a look at it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is actually create destinations rating test delay here. So let's go and create that. Again, I have my working window on the top and then just what's happening pod wise on the bottom on my cluster. So I'm going to use Istio CTL and don't do what I just did, <laughs> which is copy and paste gobbledygook. Okay, so I've created this route rule um, called ratings test delay and actually I can just do a, a get route rules here, get route rules. And we've got this uh, ratings test delay. So let's go ahead and grab that one and do an output and have a look at the YAML. All right, so you can see that getting to the destination ratings.default.service.cluster.local, I'm putting in a HTTP fault here with a fixed delay of seven seconds at 100%. So everything is gonna get seven seconds delay if I match this um, predicate here, which is if I have in the HTTP headers a cookie that matches the, the regex here, which is user equals JSON, um, and then I've got a precedence. Now this is really cool, so I'm selectively injecting faults here. So again, let's just take a look. I'm gonna run uh, a curl against the product page here. So I'm just hitting the product page, so you can see you know, in less than a second I get a response. But let's go and grab this one liner here and say, if I am, have a cookie in here that with user JSON, how long is it taking? Okay, so I'd expect, yep, yeah, 6.344. So what a, the, the seven second delay there in the response, um, we're actually seeing bubble back up. I'm not sure, quite sure why it's 6.344. Um, I don't know when the timer starts, but anyway, we're at six seconds. Um, so you can see using a declarative config there, I've injected a fault into the system. Um, and this actually bubbles up if you were to look at the documentation of a larger problem, which is that we've got timeout mismatches um, for this book info app, um, which is causing a cascading problem. So based on timeouts on one app aren't meeting timeouts of another, so you have a broken end-to-end -end user experience. So this is just a really nice way to have um, tests inputted in, we can scope them to users, we can scope them on a bunch of different con conditions and start seeing um, failure in, de in, in um, injection testing here. Now wouldn't it be cool if you were to actually leave these things on and have production environments run with these kind of faults and make sure that you can bubble them up in your monitoring and logging. So I'm starting to get really excited because a lot of these very cool features in Istio uh, make very solid microservice deployment in large environments or even small environments, these are complicated things to kind of um, get some telemetry on and actually debug. So it's very cool that we have a very standard interface there. Anyway, kudos to the Istio team. I hope you enjoy Istio team. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for joining. Cheers.